Hey everyone! So today I'm going to do an unboxing of my The Body Shop Starter Kit. Okay, all yeah. I've done is taken the items out of the box. So the first thing was the um, order confirmation, which obviously has my name and address on it, so I'm not going to be showing you that. Um, the second thing is the customer order forms. Obviously that's self-explanatory what I use them for. Um, the next thing is the item um, description or itinerary. Um, I'm going to make sure I check that to make sure all the items are there. Um, the next thing is catalogues. So I've got basically I've got 20 of those. Um, what I'll do with those is I will hand these out to people that are having parties so that they can give them to any of the guests that can't make it. And they will be added on to the host party sales um, as pre-party orders. So that's what I'll use those for. Um, the next thing that comes out are, the plas are these plastic spatulas. Obviously for hygiene reasons, these need to be used. Um, I'm a bit of a hygiene freak. And so, yes, I'm really glad that we've got these. Um, the next thing is the Absinthe Purifying Hand Cream. Okay. Whenever I think of Absinthe, I think of either Marilyn Manson and his Absinthe drinking or the Green Fairy from Miron Rouge. So, yeah, new Absinthe product here. Okay. The next thing that I've got is the Hemp Hand Protector. This is for very dry skin. Um, again, basically I'll do, I'll do a full review on all of these products as and when I use them. So obviously I haven't used them so I haven't got much to say about them at the moment. Um, this is the Let's, Par Let's Party Invitations. So obviously um, when I go to people's houses and do parties, I can give these out to people that can sign up to do a party. Also, I have a couple of them in my handbag. So if I'm out and about and I happen to talk to someone, I can give them one of these, get some more parties going. Okay, next thing. This is the Satsuma Body Polish, um, daily gentle exfoliation, um, cleansing with Mediterranean Satsuma extract. Let's see what this one smells like, shall we? Oh, that is amazing. Definitely, you can smell the citrus 100%. It actually smells to me like um, orange jelly. <laughs> That's what it smells like just off the top of my head to it, but a much more luxurious um, part of it. So people have asked me before, what's the difference between a body polish and exfoliant? Um, well, I would say a body polish is it's more of a gel. It's more light. It does have grains in it. Um, but it is just a little bit lighter, a little bit, um, a little bit easier to use. Sometimes I can find the grains in some exfoliants a little bit aggressive. So if you find that too, a body polish is perfect. Some body polishes also you can put on um, to dry skin and you don't have to wash it off. Um, I'm not sure about that one. I'll have to read about that one. Okay, the next thing is mango body whip with mango fruit extracts from Brazil. Okay, so this is basically like a um, moisturiser for the body, but it's a little bit lighter, so it's a whip, so it's much more um, faster to absorb into the skin. Um, it actually does smell amazing. That it's all with the Body Shop. It's all great quality products. Um, the basically the best ingredients that you can possibly get, but they're from fair trade companies, or as um, Body Shop calls it, community trade companies. Um, so it's, well not necessarily companies, communities, so it's groups of people in, diff in different areas of the world, um, the body shop makes sure that every single person that's involved from the making their product from start to finish, sourcing the ingredients, all of it, is um, they're paid a fair wage and everybody's treated fairly. Okay, the um, next item is Absinthe Purifying Hand Wash. It says it moisturises, banishes dirt and conceals odour with absinthe extract and community fair trade aloe vera for all skin types. So that's what that looks like. That colour is absolutely amazing. I love that colour. Usually I don't like green, but that colour is pretty wicked. Okay, the next item is strawberry shower gel, soap-free cleanser with cold-pressed strawberry seed oil. I bet this is going to smell the best. Oh, that does. That smells like 
you're in a, stra a fresh strawberry field and someone's just serving up a fresh batch of strawberries. That is absolutely 100% amazing smell. Fruity, fresh, perfect. Strawberry shower gel. Sorry, my dog is getting impatient. There you go. Okay, the next item. Coconut shower cream, soap-free cleanser with community fair trade virgin coconut oil from Samoa. Again, let's smell this and see what it smells like. Oh, that is beautiful. I do love coconut. It smells like someone's crushed up a coconut and put it in the bottle. Absolutely amazing smell. These are all full-sized products as well. That's something to mention. Um, because I have done different at-home schemes where you get sample sizes but no full-size products. So these are all full-sized. Okay, next item, peppermint cooling foot lotion. Community trade cocoa butter and soothing grape acids keep feet soft and smooth all day long. Peppermint oil refreshes and revives. I've not used any of the Body Shop's um, foot products before. I have used Sanctuary's foot scrub and that was good. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking the peppermint in this will really cool your feet after a long, hard day. Here's hoping so anyway. Okay, next item. Coconut, this is the coconut beautifying oil, dry oil for the body, face and hair. So the unique thing about this product, as it says, body, face and hair. Um, I'll give you some tips on how and when to use the, this when I do my review of the products. Okay, next item. This is Amazonian Wild Lily Eau de Toilette. Now that, it says... Um, deep in the rainforest, on a river in the Amazon, a giant water lily is in flower. Its vast leaves and petals are fresh and dewy after the jungle rain. We capture this unique moment in this crisp, luminous fragrance, which contains white lily extract and community fair trade organic alcohol made from sugar cane. So it's... Oh, it smells divine. That's It's fresh, it's crisp, it's energizing that's perfect for spraying on in the morning as you know with no toilet you do need to reapply it'll last four to six hours but you do need to reapply but that that'll wake you up and make you feel fresh and ready for your day the next uh, the next item is a wild rose nourishing hand butter obviously hand butter is the same as the body butter but for your hands so yeah i'm excited to use that wild rose lovely Okay, next item, peppermint reviving foot soak, naturally effervescent salts and refreshing community trade peppermint oil help cleanse, corn cool and revive tired feet. So basically this is like bath salts, um, but obviously you wouldn't want to waste so much of it and put it in the bath, so you would have a bowl or a foot spa and you'd put some of this in that and it actually fizzes. I like products that actually do something because you know that it's actually doing something rather than oh yeah it looks very pretty okay next peppermint foothing pumice pumice foot scrub intensify intensify your exfoliating volcanic rock to smooth and soften even the roughest skin now this i do need i do have rough skin on the bottom of my feet but i can't seem to get anything to get rid of it so i'm gonna obviously try it um, just like everything else layering and grouping products is brilliant so i'll probably use um the foot soak first to cleanse my feet then use the scrub and then i'll apply the lotion afterwards so all of those layering will make my feet soft smooth and also hopefully peppermint fresh too okay next the next thing is a coconut cream body scrub so let's have a look at what that looks like lovely brilliant can you see that the actual bits in there are the coconut skin hut the husk and obviously the flesh is in there as well but it's all it's all organic brilliant smells amazing okay now not everybody likes coconut and likes um or likes fruits so this next one is moringa body butter so obviously that's a flower so this is a light, fresh fragrance, um, 
which is just brilliant. It's, it's full dry skin and it can last up to 24 hours. But this is a good one if you don't like anything too strong um, and you don't like anything too sweet, this is for you. Perfect. Okay, next thing is the coconut body butter. So obviously this, you can see that there. That smells amazing. Um, this you would use after, I always group products because that's when you get the best out of your products is when you group them. So you would wash with the coconut body wash, um, then exfoliate with the body scrub and then apply the body butter. You'll get the scent last a lot longer as well. I like to get the best out of my products, like I said. So having, so doing it that way will work the best for me. Um, and finally, the last item is the Shea Body Butter. So that is obviously made from Shea Nuts. There you go. Perfect. You actually, um, to make Shea Butter, you have to actually grind the, you have to take the nuts, the nut out of the husk that it comes in. Then the ladies grind the nuts to make a paste, and then that paste is what is made into this body butter. So it's quite labour intensive, but as we know, with the with the body shop, they do pay fairly and um, make sure everybody's treated fairly as well. So that is the shea butter. So that is it. So I can tell you that I do have an item missing, and that is the um, hand and and foot cuticle um, stick which so I'll basically I'll get onto the body shop and tell them that that was missing from my pack and um, hopefully they'll send it out to me so this is the bag you get a bag for life it says it says living feels good and then obviously um, that's in French as well living feels good amazing so I hope you liked my um, body shop tutorial today um, Again, I will put all of these things into my blog. I'll take a picture of all the products um, and also a little, a little bit of a description of um, what they are and what they can be used for. And that's it. Um, I've got my training on the 15th um, of July. So that's my first training session. So I'll also give you an update with that. Um, thanks a lot, guys. Bye.